start that, I want to just start with a little something that I like to start with, with an example. And when I was a young boy, I used to love, and I still love it today, Kevin put it up, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. That was my favorite thing to eat, and it still is today. But Kentucky Fried Chicken had a slogan. Do you remember? They used to have their commercial, and at the end, they used to say, we do chicken, right? Right? Does anybody remember that? They used to say, Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken, right? And when I was a kid, I used to be like, we do chicken, right? Yes, because they used to do chicken, right? And they changed their slogan to what? We're finger licking good. But see, what they were doing is they were setting a perception for the consumer. If you remember, there's also a car commercial out there, and I don't have the slogan, so leave this one up there, Kevin. Mazda, it just feels right. You see, what happens is these companies set a perception. Everybody say perception this morning. Perception. And Kentucky Fried Chicken's perception was, we do chicken right. They didn't say, we do the best chicken They didn't say, you have to buy our chicken because it's the best. They said, we do chicken right. See, because what people understand in marketing is, is that perception is reality. And if we can perceive that a place or a business like Kentucky Fried Chicken, and no, the service isn't sponsored by them this morning, but if we can say that Kentucky Fried Chicken does chicken right, what? Our mindset is going into it, it's going to be right. If they say we do chicken the best, it's not going to fly very good. Because then it's going to be compared to every other chicken. But if the colonel who has his 12 herbs and spices says we do it right, it sets an expectation and a perception to the consumer that they're going to get it right. You're going to come in and it's going to be tasty. And it is every single time. They do chicken right. And what happens is, is that Christians, our focus needs to be on doing what's right. And a lot of times, we're not doing Jesus right. And as Ians of Christ, as Christians, we have to point back to the base noun. And we have to live right. Turn to your neighbor this morning and say, are you living right? Are you living right? It's time for us to start living right. It's time for us to start following His Word, His commandments. It's time for us to wake up in the middle of the night and remember His Word and hide it in our heart so that we won't sin against it. But what happens is, is we do Jesus the way we feel like Jesus should be done. We do Jesus the way we think it should be done. And I'm here to tell you this morning that I've entitled my message when perception becomes reality because the the thing is, is that the world is watching everything that we're doing. And as Christians, we have to do it right. 